Welcome to Rock's life. Ah, what's the how is it this that physics don't ever work for me? I'm so fat. I got fat, and now I don't. Being a fat person is like way harder than being a skinny person. It's friggin' nothing fits. Um, nothing's good. Whenever you try and move, you just explode instead. I'm like a boomer, but in real life, Jesus Christ. This is Lego City undercover. All right, pausing. There's, um, we're at, it feels like we're getting at a climax because we're nearing a trade between like the big bad guy and other bad guy. Presumably, this isn't the end of the game. If it is, then here we are, and we're about to catch him. Something tells me it isn't, and if that's the case, because there hasn't really been that much build up exactly. I don't know. Um, I suspect there's going to be some sort of twist. But here we go. The girlfriend is calling. Trust you to find my dad, Chase. Don't you trust me? Look, I, I'm kind of. Look, I know you've got cops keeping tabs on me. You do? I mean, what? I haven't arranged anything like that. <laughs> I'm somewhere I need to go, Natalia. Don't pretend, Chase. I'm mm. at the hospital, and I can see them watching me from across the road. What do they look like? Uh, well. Really smartly dressed for cops. They're um. Suits, and they're standing by a oh, I see. Unmarked black van and a limousine. They're not cops, are they? I don't think so. And now they're coming towards the hospital. Chase. Um. Help. Natalia? Oh, I see. Really? This again? So either it's save the girlfriend. Or, okay, there's there's the twist I just talked about. Like, okay. So we're not gonna be able to get to the bad guys because the girlfriend's in trouble. That's a pisser. Um, oh, I don't know where that'll leave us either, because it took us a lot of time to set up this one like opportunity to reach this guy. Oh well, the things we do for love, am I right? I guess. Yikes. Things really went Ooh. I set the hospital on fire. Help! Help! All right, just gotta get over there then. Here comes my new firefighter training. Maybe being a firefighter is difficult. Freaking nothing works. I'm not, like, convinced that this does anything. There we go. Like, do I point it at it or at the ground beneath it or... Hold on, I'm not done yet. There we go. Hey, hey. Get thrown into another guy. Uh, hit a guy with a guy. Oh, can't you throw people into the fire and that, like, kills them? Oh, never mind. We're just gonna kick a person. Um, don't. Nah, okay. All right. All right. It's my favorite uh, song. Tapping the uh, whatever it's called. That that little steel drum. I don't. I'm musically, you know, disabled, so I can't comment usually on that kind of thing. Benches. Oh, that's that's just that's pain. Oh, right into the vending machine, but he's walking that one off. There's our old Neo kick, and you did. Um. Okay. Yup. There we go. <laughs> Good one? Question mark. Oh, oh, now we're committing crime. That's fine. I'll just blow the wall out. No, I saved a girl. Really, it's fine. Our character really is just like textbook. Tries to do the right thing and absolutely does not care who gets in the way of that. 
I don't mean, okay, but that's the thing. It's not try and do the right thing. It's try and do what he thinks is the right thing, kind of. Even then, though, like, I'm not sure his motivations are, like, heroic, really. Everyone else just pegs him as that, but do he really just says, like, I want to do this for me? <sighs> oh, well. That's just part of playing as a crooked cop. Oh, I missed him. Oh, dude pile. Alright, I mean, a full body, like, punch to the back of the spine, like, if you know what you're doing, can be a decently good maneuver. Um, you need some strength in that, as well as some speed, but if you can do it, um, that can be a decently successful way to critically injure one of your fellow human beings. No! Trouble. You gotta... <sighs> Speaking of trouble, but trying to balance on those freaking things is one of the harder... Like, if you almost have to be normal, dude, why does that not work? Or do you have to be cop guy? I don't know. It feels like that one balancing object is just does not work as well. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna try and get... St okay. Here we go. Okay, so like, can I throw him into the fire, or... Oh. Ouch. So I want to put... Guess we'll do that instead. I want you to know I'm disappointed, though. I'm not fully convinced that this does anything. Using the auto aim might just be better, for God's sakes. Alright. And we're in. Okay, now we got the red juice to go and put the light on. I'm puzzle solving left and right. Just keep tapping that drum. I mean, I'm not convinced that our character, like, he seems to be stuck up on this one girl, when in reality, like, the other police lady is really, like, I don't know. She likes him. Like, I don't think this lady, I guess maybe she does. But they're playing, like, a mean relationship game, you know what I mean? Like, it's just not, he could do better. I just, I don't know. I think he's shooting himself in the foot. Let's talk more about Lego relationships. Yeah, she is. She's fun. There's no way to climb up there. But you could climb up there. Oh. Okie dokie. Thank God we got that chicken. Yeah, there's Ellie. I'm committing another crime. Have a safe house anywhere. So people are after Natalia, so she can't go back to her own place. All the safe houses are booked up, I'm afraid. Jeans <laughs> guys are in them selling each other out. But uh if she doesn't mind couch surfing, she could stay at my place. Oh. I've got a big dog, although the only way he'll help is if the bad guys are allergic to him. Well, it's better than sharing with one of Chan's guys. Thanks again, Ellie. Not a problem. I'll head there now. Do you need backup? No time. I can handle this. Okay, that's fine. We'll just have the ex stay with the new woman that we're flirting with, and we'll see how this. But, like, those are the actions of someone who is just bored. Like, I'll put some weird relationships I've formed together and just, you know, sit back and watch. This is fine. <laughs> Careful. Tease it. 
There we go. As soon as you get it lined up, then you can just hold in the button and do it. But the, the trouble's just getting that initial alignment. I suspect we have to go down here, otherwise what would be the point of it? Building something? No? No? Is this all for fun? Really? That surprises me. And nothing surprises me. And that actually that's a lie. With this game, like you can't even pull off that lie. Days. This game surprises me constantly. My legs better not get tired halfway up. <laughs> yeah, that's that would be a lot of momentum. Oh no! All right, we're good. <laughs> easy, 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 easy. There you go. Oh dear. Hit a guy with a guy. Uh -huh. Is that a helicopter? Oh, it's a bag of helicopter. Oh. Wait, so who are they? So these are kingpins, dudes. Can I just throw them off the edge? Alright, never mind. That's fine. That stupid freaking kick move. Alright. Okay, I'm with you on that. What's the point of this thing then, though? What is in here? Ah, I unlocked Nat Natalia. I almost said Natalie. I meant Natalia. Oh, okay, maybe I shouldn't be playing stupid games, stupid prizes. Alright. Um. Oh. Uh, hmm. Alright, I will admit that looks a little difficult just because uh, I have to kind of tease it a little. Yes, she is fun. No, I think she's just like that all the time, Chase. I don't want to, you know. Oh well. Chicken! Good response. One day it's not here. Of course. A helicopter. Oh, sure. The hospital's helicopter is always buzzing around the building when I'm carrying files that can blow out of my hand. <laughs> but as soon as I'm getting pursued by mysterious men, nowhere to be seen. What's she wielding? Alright. How much does it cost? 20k? Alright, there's gotta be some bricks around here. I can't afford that out of pocket. Has the stingiest personal life. All right, I think I'll be pissing in the wind. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just pay for it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's not fine. I'm annoyed, but it's fine. There you go. I have a smoking helicopter. Yeah, you better give me some money for that. Okay, I, I get it. Game. Hello. I just want to go get those coins. I feel like I'm being taunted a little bit. Keep back. I'll deal with them. Yeah. I think that's I want the money. Now who are we dealing with? Oh, sweet delicious dollars. Ah! Crime is happening. Hey. Hey, you come here. Guess who's getting thrown into a radiator? It's this guy. Uh Alright, I'm almost dead actually. This might be my first death of this playthrough. Wouldn't that be incredible? Oh. Ouch. I hope that's all of them. I beat up men. The swooper. That's my favorite car. Oh, I can paint it. And I the world and I want it painted black. Yeah, I better. Get in. Really? You can fly a helicopter? Let's find out. Yeah, I'm Matrix. I can do whatever I want. Uh. Who were those men? No idea. They didn't look like Chan. Or All right. How do we? Those guys. They don't even look like reckless thugs either. The only time you see them in suits is in court. Are they the people who killed <laughs> my dad, Chase? They could be. But I thought Rex was behind that. Uh oh. What the does your dad the do? plot thickens. He's a professor. He 
worked on Apollo Island for years, but he's been uh, on a research contract for the last few months. Oh. I don't know the details, and he kept his cabin locked up tight because of the precious stones he was working in. Oh. I'm not 100% sure. Chan and Vinny were working for Rex. These other guys? Maybe Rex is working for them. I'll find out. Hmm. But first, I'm taking you to a friend's place. She's called Ellie. You should be safe there. Thank you, Chase. All right, I got some plot theories. Was that a nice thing you just? All right, all right, you too. Relax. So it looks like I know how to fly a helicopter then. <laughs> now I know that you have to switch off their engines after you land. I suppose I owe you an apology. Friggin' cinematography. Such a pain. Well, I still wasn't happy about it. When I first met you, I trusted you completely. I, I this is fascinating. I have nothing to add. When you just left like that? Feelings? <laughs> Shut up. So, would you like to see a movie? You're both adults. What is this? You're actually kind of cute, but, but you're married to a job, and I don't date married men. How about coffee? Just find my dad. Oh. A tiny cookie. Ice cream. Ice cream. Vinny's meeting with Rex. That I huh? Okay. Um. Huh. Well, that like, and I had all these like decently intelligent concepts of what could possibly occur between that relationship and then none of them happened and what actually happened was just peculiar um uh, yeah wow I don't I know that I have anything else to add to that freaky spectacular at least we got helicopters now a la GTA In my whole world, and I know it is painted black. All right, so um, not only, I guess our character tried to play the like weird, like childish romance card that honestly, like, I don't think is ever a good play on like other adults. I just don't. I don't think it's ever a great angle, really. Um. So he went for that, and then, but she turned him down anyways, quite reasonably, frankly, on the prospect that he is absolutely obsessed with, um, and becoming a criminal, and he's obsessed with crime, which, you know, are, uh, absolutely accurate and reasonable questions. Oh, dear. The invisible walls in this helicopter are, are they're strict. Might have been faster to take a car, Jesus. Um, I'm not sure where this means we'll all end up. I mean, like, what would be a perfect ending for me is if, like, Ellie and her get together as, like, gay, and then he's left alone as, like, a psychopath who is crime-obsessed, which, that won't happen, I'm positive, but somehow it would be fitting. I just don't think, like, in real life, really, freaking Chase can have a happy ending. Like, to me, that doesn't work. Because I think he's too far gone. Uh, you can only exit flying vehicles. Uh, you can't just jump out whenever you want. That's stupid. Should be able to... I didn't even hit the crash pad. Alright, whatever. Stupid game. I want to get out of this place. <laughs> oh, okay, and now I'm doing parkour. Just like real life. <laughs> um, Alright, let's see. So I guess we're not going to be too late for the meeting. That was just a plot that would have made sense. Hey there, Chase. Vinny's been telling me how you're his number one guy now. 
Don't worry, I ain't jealous. Is he around? He, uh, said something about meeting some private buyer guy? Yeah. To tell you the truth, I'm a little worried. That guy he's meeting, he used to run all the rackets in this Okay, yeah, that's Rex. Now he's out. I just hope he ain't trying to cut Vinny out of the equation. Uh. Want me to make sure Vinny's okay? Vinny would disown me if he knew I'd sent someone to look after him. Right. So he can't know. All I got was that they were meeting outside in Paradise Sands. Get up somewhere high, and with a bit of luck, you'll be able to see him. Right. Thanks, Mo. No, thank you. Alright, so we're just two concerned goons looking after the boss. That's that's romantic, really. Um, where the hell did I leave my helicopter? Ah. I prefer, like, the Saints Row system of helicopter, where you can put it anywhere, and anytime you jump out, you have infinite parachutes, and you can, if you ever lose it, you can just open up your phone and call for another one. That system of helicopter... Um, is, you know, a little more conducive to my style of not caring about things. Oh, I got that red brick, too, and I haven't activated that. I don't know why that just popped up in my head, but there you go. Costumes. I don't know what that is, and I, I don't, doesn't sound like something I want right now. Um, yeah, Lego City. Wow. Wow. Alright, let's see where this goes. I mean, is Rex just gonna kill Vinny? Is that So this is Frank's parents' hotel. They must be loaded. Right. I need to get onto the rooftop. Okay. I mean we know that kid is like basically just the perfect spoiled white rich kid. I just assumed we were going up the parkour way because we are, in some sense, doing crime. Um, and, you know, you don't. Crime just doesn't use the front door basically no matter what. Which, you know, it's just part of crime. Even to your own house. I pulled my front door off when I'm doing crime just so that I can go in through it without actually using the front door because all of crime is constituted by getting into places in weird and confusing ways. Um. And that's just sensible, really. You'll learn this if you ever try and do crime, like I do. Uh, become a criminal. This, uh, this building. Again, like, all of these buildings would look so much more interesting if they just built the whole things out of Lego. But they didn't. Alright, I gotta ride the bee. Ride the bee. Uh. Whoa there. If you ain't a gym member, you ain't coming in here. I am a gym member. <laughs> of course you are. I bet you don't even know how to use that fitness equipment. Really? <laughs> That's what we're all right. What what is the challenge here? Is this the one where I have to tap B? Yes, it is. It's fine, I can tap B all day long. And there you go, you're welcome. I like the sleeping dog's outfit. Like, it's a little childish, I think. I mean, not childish, but it makes him look younger. Um, but it's, you know, it's very trendy. That's what it is. Oh, okay. That's... Oh, that's it. So you, <laughs> these are three variations on the theme of can you tap B? The answer, yes, I can tap B. All right. I guess you must be a gym member. Yeah. No, I don't recognize you, and you haven't provided any ID. Yeah. Well, but did you see the way I lifted that weight? That was like ten gym memberships. <laughs> And honestly, like, what is gym membership really, you know, in our modern society? When everyone's kind of either a fat tart or, like, so skinny that they die constantly. You know, it's all the same. I don't... I don't know that I've ever considered that ever in my life. 
freaking weird to me. Alright, let's do some bopping tunes. Ah, oh, it's this guy. I hate this guy. I hope he dies. Well, I can check the guest book. That isn't. Never mind. Have you seen anything suspicious happening from up here? Why even ask him? Apart from the sinister-looking helicopter that flew overhead a few minutes ago and then landed on the building opposite the Herbert Hotel. The Herbert Hotel. Then that's where I'm going. Hey, what's wrong with my parents' hotel? Is this about that guest who ate the chocolate on his pillow and it turned out it was a cockroach? Ugh. All right. Um. Yeah, see you, man. I wish I was, like, kind to people. I mean, not really, but, like, I could see the appeal. You know? Like, just being kind to people who ultimately don't deserve it is... That's just spectacularly difficult. Um... Okay. Oh. That... Hmm. Um... If I don't make this, I might scream. Okay. That is upsetting. Thank Christ they reset me. That, okay. If I had to walk back up, that that would be a very upsetting thing. I could tell as soon as I jumped off that the situation, it was not good. And, okay, this looks a little better. I know until we miss the, like, rainbow block... Which would have been fine, but it was a good indicator that things were not going swimmingly. Alright. I'm glad they programmed in the fail state for that. Because I don't even know really what would be the... I don't know how I would have done that. I probably would have just had you go back up and around. How if I know? Alright. Let's commit some crime, shall we? I like this sort of this whole area is very like GTA E. Just it's like right on the coast and what have you. Got the palm trees. The rich white young people. New money. What the hell am I doing with this rock? Uh oh. I'm Huh? <laughs> I what? <laughs> I filled up a thing. Ooh, that was my police phone. Police phone. Here I am, I'm looking at my police phone, I'm not paying attention to the game. Alright. Um, I honestly do not really understand what we're doing here. Like, what was the hell was the point of that? Alright. <laughs> and then that. Okay. Like, I get it, but also that seems spectacularly roundabout. I don't want to insinuate that Lego City is wasting my time. But. Oh, got some rock and roll over here. Rock and roll. 3,000 guitars. Um, Alright. Ooh, we did do that. Oh. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. So they color them like criminals. Be ah, because they're totally bad guys, and this is legitimate. That is. That's just the way police officers see the world, you see. Everyone who's bad just looks like a robber. When all you have are handcuffs, everyone looks like a felon. Ooh, he did. I 
did yeah again like I, I this guy's crimes should come back to haunt him like we've done so many so many things that were not good dun, 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 boom I do enjoy like pedestrian traffic being like decently busy in these urban areas because living in the middle of nowhere like if you see someone on the street you have like a 10 over 30 that they're an axe murderer you know like you can be almost certain they're an axe murderer or something to that degree you know um, whereas like you know here in civilized society um, you're allowed to go in the street, and you're probably not out to kill children. It's just weird and different to me. It's kind of, I forgot what game does that, where all the NPCs, like, talk about how, uh, like, all the past things you've done on the street, and all the, like, horrible things you've been a part of. It's fitting for this, though. Uh, let's see. Okay, we're at 90,000. So even if we build this now, we'll be up a little. Oh, we're building an awesome pool. Radical. Oh, that is a nice pool. Yeah. Oh, that is that is not an ugly piece of a uh, thing. How do you? Can I? Hmm. Oh, I see. We need to. We're, we're gonna fill the pool with a fire extinguisher. That's nice and legitimate. I have no idea where we're supposed to be aiming this though. feels like you almost had to cover an area despite the fact that that obviously doesn't make any sense excuse me hiccups they'll kill you all right I should probably try diving off because that is just the kind of person I am no all right there we go uh, all right disappointing let me out. Uh, it's my favorite vehicle, the ball. Um, there you go. Okay, that's fine. I'm getting really good at using those catapults. Yeah, that that's pretty spectacular. Um, what the hell? Am I green? No, I'm blue. All right, where is uh, this guy? Freaking, these puzzles are something like, despite the fact that now there's like 80 ingredients that are going around every single time, they've somehow gotten easier in like some regard, you know? Like it just, it all feels very obvious now and there's not a lot that we can't do. Uh, I see. All right, that might be calling it close for time. Maybe. Yeah, I feel like this will be calling it close for time. Um. <laughs> okay, now we should be fun. Makes me think of rage. Oh yeah, we good. All right, puzzle solving. I played through Rage, like, I don't want to say not too long ago exactly, but it wasn't too long ago. At this point, we're probably looking at like a year ago. Which is more recently than any other human on the planet has played Rage. Like, it was a replay. So, 
I'm also probably the only person who's done that. But now they're having a rage too, which you know is kind of insane. Seeing is like <sighs> the first one was like dangerously close to being fun, <laughs> and then it it wasn't exactly you know it was it was really close and then. Uh, I think it was part of people's fear for the new Doom was like, yeah, but remember Rage. Another catapult. Awesome. All right. We have done an awful lot just to get to this one building when we probably could have just gotten a car and walked. Oh. All right. I feel like it's a wrestling joke, Leon versus Mac, but I do not know enough about wrestling. I do not know enough about wrestling to appreciate it. So I am uncultured. Wrestling culture is weird and confusing to me, but that's how most people feel about, you know, things, so. Let me put that on me. I don't know why. I'm, being fat is hard too because, like, when you're fat, you can't be comfortable ever because you're perpetually uncomfortable within your own skin, you know? It's like just sitting down anywhere and it's like, ah, pain. Why? Because I'm fat and my body is, like, human body wasn't built to carry this weight, basically. That's Rex, but he is looking for him. Oh my god. See, like, if we just had a sniper rifle right now, this game would be over. I just want to point that out. Like, one good shot, and this guy is dead. I'm not saying we have enough exactly on him to shoot him, but it might just make sense to him. We had a deal. Hmm. I had someone else go through for that. Well, I still got more stuff on my shopping list, Vinny. And you are gonna get it for me. I ain't even been paid for the other stuff yet. I have all the heads, you know. And them paintings you gave me ain't any good. What do you mean? They're Picassos. Really? They look more like faces. Ah, just get the stuff, Vinny. Or I'll have to rephrase it. Man, that guy's got the Italians. By the balls. Fury makes my blood boil. We do all the jobs. We take all the risks. But he treats us like monkeys and gives us. Uh, hmm. Chase, what did you hear? Nothing. Except you mentioned Rex Fury. Yeah, what does it matter? Yeah, that's the private buyer I've been working for. Right. This pushes me too far. Nobody gets away with treating the papalados like this. We're gonna do a job. Just what the hell is happening, and how does it relate to the conversation that I'm having with that other character? I'm so confused right now. I'm chasing an alien after I was talking to the Italians, and now I'm confused. Someone please, please help me. I... Huh? I'm sorry, Vinny. There was an alien attack. What were you saying? Okay, let's just restart that cutscene. That's fine. In the meantime, I'll... Uh, I'll try not to run into anything else. Who plays Chase? Because he sounds... A little like Nolan Northy, kind of. I don't think it is him, but. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, there's that There's that thing of like 
Because that's the guy we've put now in police custody for protection. And then all of a sudden the gang boss is like, ah, oh, yeah, we're going to need to take him out. And it's like, okay. I'm like, that's wrong of me. But it's not the guy I'm like thirsty to kill. So, I don't know. I mean, to me, it was like upsetting just to see him over there and not make some attempt to just get him there. But again, that blows the cover. It's like, how long do you spend waiting for the perfect moment before you kind of got to take one? I don't know. What is this? Oh, well, I guess I don't really want that. Alright, what, what the hell are we doing? Is it time? How many missions have we done? We've done a lot. Whatever, let's do one more. It's hard to keep track of time when the levels aren't always timed out exactly. Um, uh, there's the boat. Oh, I don't want to. That's a race. I can see that. <laughs> You're not fooling me. And there you go. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Gotta break the guy out of special custody. And then what? You know, like... Where does that leave us, really? I got a lot of questions, and Lego City doesn't seem to be giving out the answers. Hey, hey Mo. So Unless he's not in police custody anymore. Yeah, it's right. We never did hear what he got in for. Hey, I'm seeing a lot of reused textures here. Like, a lot. Um, I've already done the sewer level. I'm sick of doing this freaking... Uh, okay. Um, alright, so... I mean, I don't know. It, it feels like the game is trying to moralize a little bit in a weird way and trying to say, it like, oh, but this guy, you know, he's pretty bad. It's it's almost like the same sort of thing of like earlier when we got that one guy out of prison it was for like parking tickets or something and but then the main character was like ah I guess that's not really a crime it's but it's like it is though like he just he interprets the law basically to however it suits him way too often which maybe is commentary on you know actual U.S. law in in some weird way. Maybe not. Just like you can't choose when. Okay, and that just kills people. Like he's dead now. What happened to the third guy? Did he fall off the edge? Uh. Um. What the hell am I doing? Someone tells me I can't jump through that water, a la Resident Evil. Oh, I forgot about the fire. I've, I've got so many freaking stupid costume, dress-up, Barbie doll crap that I can't keep track of anything. Alright, what did that do? Wonderful. Coins. Alright. 
Like I said, this has gotten easy, but like weirdly time consuming. Because you have to switch between all these different things, and it, it just keeps it going, basically. But like, this level has all the annoyance of hitting lots of buttons in weird and confusing ways without any of the f aesthetic fun that like the museum had. You know, we're like, yeah, it was kind of irritating, but, you know, it was like a beautiful building. And it had good humor in it as well. Okay. Oh, you're gonna die. Alright. Oh, wells. Watch my amazing ability to solve basic puzzles. Uh, yeah, I mean, when I, when I first started the game, though, I was a little vexed as to how Lego would handle what is a potentially controversial topic of like police work and I expected like a few different things like maybe just to not glorify it exactly but basically just give the best of which would have been somewhat expected you know like I wouldn't have been surprised if the game was about like oh the police are heroes and like here's what they here's all the good they can do and what ended up happening is this weird thing of basically being Lego Grand Theft Auto in some sense. Where like every group of people is so flawed that it's just really difficult to tell who the good guys and bad guys are really. You know? Like. Because that's Grand Theft Auto's stance forever has been everyone gets parodied. Because like these are the bad things that you all do. And in some sense, that's what, like, the similarity that binds you is in the fact that you're all a bunch of jerks. You know, it's not an unwholesome message. It's just... I wouldn't have expected this game to go that route. Um, I think it definitely has. Because, I mean, the police are incompetent and incredibly bureaucratic, and then... All the criminals are more functional and they have like a better support system really. But they're you know, ultimately the power structure from the top down is doing wrong. And then you have like civilian society which is garbage and lethargic and basically blind to all of these happenings. Freaking baffling. Okay, so we are really just robbing Blackwell's house for Vinny. God, that's weird. I don't know what that says about anything. Also, I fall down. I fall down, go boom. That, that actually wasn't what I wanted. <laughs> if I'm being honest with you. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't want to be down here. But I am going to try again because, well, it seems like I could leave. There's clearly something shiny over there. Alright, I'm gonna. I think I jumped here, which was a fool. Fool's errand. Yeah. Alright, easy there, Texas Ranger. This should lead down into that building. Or not. What the? Where is the astronaut? There you go. Press B to teleport. Wrong, 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 wrong. Like my favorite game, Dishonored. That is not my favorite game. I don't know if Dishonored is anyone's favorite game, really. <laughs> Everyone's played, but people don't talk about it. Maybe that's just in my circles. Wee. Well, that was interesting. Um, 
Oh, and I can't even use the thing over here. Alright, that was stupid. I feel betrayed right now. Um, I feel attacked. I feel offended. Anyways. Alright, up into the castle. Ooh. If I was a secretive billionaire, where would I hide my vault? All right, so we're going straight for the uh, shinies not on display. That's fine. We're just it's because we are a monster. Now that's a sensible place to hide a vault. We are a monster. Oh, brand new car. Nice. Good, good find. Oh, I see a box. I don't know where that goes. Now I do. I do like like the fish tank in the floor is it's a classic. Um but it, it's an oldie but a goodie, I think. And just can't go wrong with having a glass floor with fish in it. Standard. It really is standard. Like, would I do that? You know? Would I? I don't know. It's very hard to make those kinds of predictions. Do, oh, can we play the piano? A resounding no. <laughs> okay. Um, is there another safe behind this? I bet there is. Sweet Jesus, we are like I don't know. Chase just seems to have it out for people. Like that's all the only way I can put this is he just seems to like. I, like that was clearly someone's ashes. I understood that joke, Lego. They're not commenting on it because that's dark. But I understood that and it was wrong. Crime. Interesting. It's always the like fascinating question of what can you and can you not break, and the answers aren't ever sensible. Wait, is my gun already red? No. Oh. <laughs> right. All right. What's well, a nice place you got here? Shame I had to uh, yeah, destroy it. Oh, I see. I got to uh, be the fireman. I always wanted to get one of those fireman calendars with all the naked dudes on it, you know? Just to have around. Um, just in the office. Because... Because the thing is, like, other people think, like, oh, this guy's got the big gay. He's got the fireman calendar. But no one can ever look away from it. Um, so really, it reveals more about them than you in the end. I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing. Is this all I have to do is press these buttons? No. Oh. Resounding yes. Okay. Just open if you have a nut allergy. Whoa, that looks like a lot of. Oh my god. I wonder if Vinny's had his eye on this place. And his security team is here. Way too little, way too late. Yeah. Oh, okay. I just kicked him. Like, just kick. Yeah, and you're dead. Cheers, mates. Oh, it's a jade owl. Where have I heard jade owl before? Ooh, men in black. What? Get the... What? Grab the thing. What is this? That is some weak stuff from the guy...
Alright, Agent Smith is coming after us. But also, like, take the thing and then run. We were, uh, we were in kissing distance. I d don't understand. Perfect. Wonderful. I huh okay um well that robbery went like I don't want to say like semi retarded in many ways but that we adequately conveys my thoughts on that I <laughs> all right I should write my own police procedural game. <laughs> Because I feel like in making, you know, um, my own conjecture about this narrative, I've actually come up with much better ideas of my own. Let's just see what the cutscene is. Oh, okay. Otherwise, is it fleeing? Chase, I'm still trying to shake these guys off. Did you get out? Yeah, but I've got company too. Okay, yes, we are fleeing. Meet me at the south end of Promenade Gardens in downtown. Right. But we didn't, we just smashed up the place and then left. That's like, that's a hate crime is what that is. You know, if you steal something, it's like, yeah, like, but, you know, he had a good reason. Um, it was just that hard cash. Cash money. You know, if you just go into someone's place and, like, smash things up, that's, that's just mean. It's senselessly cruel, really. I don't know where I'm going, but I, I saw things to smash and then I got excited. I'm committing more crime. <laughs> oh, oh, but of course you can't get through the phone booth. That was clear. Alright. Are there supposed to be things chasing me? Because there's no one chasing me. And I've, like, detoured a decent amount. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Thank God there's no one around to try and stop me. <laughs> Though, fair enough, there's not because, you know, I didn't end up stealing anything. Alright, I suppose I could drive my bike in here. Why not? Oh, are those the Smith guys? Yes, they are. Alright, I've been found. I've been had. All right, I can parry everyone, but can I handcuff them all? Possibly a resounding no. All right, get some of that. Okay, so this is the Agent Smith fight. Just an army of men in black. I mean, really, the handcuff people should be able to get back up and hit you because there's nothing about handcuffs really that stop you from, like, wailing on a person. There you go. Those are, I need those double hits. Get got. Oh, and the truck gets away. Hmm. Mo, are you near Promenade Gardens yet? I wish. These bozos had people waiting for me at the docks. Mo ain't gonna be there anytime soon. Get to Vinny. I tried calling him, but he didn't pick up. Not even just to yell at me. That ain't usual, Chase. I'll make sure he's okay. Time to go save the Italian gang boss, I suppose. Oh, that's that's a lot of Lego City. Um, I want you all to meditate on what we've seen today. And if you can make any sense out of that, then you can take over my job. A rock's life. <laughs>